Going to the Lego store can be an absolute blast, and one of the most iconic pieces of the Lego store is the pick-a-brick wall, where you can pick from a multitude of pieces, but if your Lego store is anything like my Lego store, they seem to get the same kinds of bricks every time, and they don't really stray from that pattern. Like, tell me the last time you needed lavender masonry bricks. Probably never, right? Well, my LEGO store likes to get things like that, which doesn't really help me out when I'm trying to finish a bunch of really cool mocks for Brickworld Chicago and for Instagram Reels. So I went to LEGO.com and checked out their online pick-a-brick wall where you can pick from pretty much every brick they offer, and I spent um, a bit of money. So today I'm going to show you what approximately $100 worth of picked out pieces looks like from the online version of LEGO's pick-a-brick wall. Let's jump right into this. This is approximately 500 pieces, slightly more, which is approximately $100 worth of pick-a-brick picked exclusively from the Lego pick-a-brick online store. So I picked out every single one of these pieces, the amount that I wanted, and the colors I wanted for all of them as well. It's pretty awesome and super easy to use. Now, 500 pieces for $100 doesn't seem like a great deal, but I did get nine of these half road plates, which cost, I believe, around 25 bucks for all nine of them. Um, so that's about a quarter of the purchase alone. So you could probably have gotten nearly double the amount of these pieces if um, you didn't buy these. But yeah, so inside here, we got a whole slew of stuff, including a bunch of three by two tiles, which I'll be using in an Instagram reel and a YouTube short and whatnot very soon. So keep an eye out for a custom mock. I got a bunch of these. We also got a bunch of two by one light gray tiles as well. Um, it looks like <laughs> maybe they, they got a wrong piece in there. Yeah, look at that. That's not the right piece. But the rest of it, pretty good. And that's still a good piece in there. And then we got a whole mashup of stuff in here. So let me rip this open and I'll show you guys what's inside. Okay, this took me a while to set up. It's not perfect, but hey, let's take a look at everything at work now that I have it all unpacked. So first up, we talked about the road plates. We talked about the three by twos. I ordered a couple black four by twos, which are gonna be for Brick World mock, a couple four by twos in dark gray for all my road plates a couple two by two dark grays for a bunch of sidewalks and modulars and stuff like that. We got all of these pieces here, all these gray like building materials as I'm gonna consider them. These are all for a custom mock that I'll be revealing soon. Two by two uh, light grays, I needed more and I need them for a mock. The baby blue pieces here are also for that mock with these gray ones here. Very excited to have those. These masonry bricks are going to be used for a brick world mock. These two by ones are going to be used for a whole bunch of things, including this project that I'm working on. All of these translucent blue tiles are used to finish up the water. You can see there's one by ones and two by one gaps all along this thing. Hopefully I ordered enough to fill it in, but I doubt it. I checked my packing list. I, I, I didn't order these. I, I don't know how they got here, but I, I need them anyways. Uh, I do actually need them for my Spring Lantern Festival area. So I guess this is Lego telling me I needed them. Then we have all these colorful flowers. I wasn't about to organize them because they're going straight onto the tree house that I've been quickly turning into like a fantasy sort of tree house, cherry blossom inspired sort of one. Very excited to have that. And then a whole bunch of parts for me. Uh, Xander's bricks, sig figs that I'll be handing out at Brick World. Some incomplete, some complete. I have the rest of like the heads and the, the uh, torsos and whatnot to finish up those that don't have it. And then I have all the mugs, of course, as well. So this is what $100 looks like of Lego pick a brick. Of course, again, about a quarter of it going into those parts alone. And I would say another quarter going into the minifig parts alone. So this is about $50 worth of pieces. Uh, with the addition of those four random ones. Uh, but this is about $50 plus the other 50 there of pick a brick.
So to some people, that may not seem like $100 worth of pick a brick, and I usually would agree. However, these pieces are going to finish at least a couple projects that I've been working on for months, some even years. So this has been like a long time in the making that I've been wanting to get these parts. Some of them have been sitting in my cart for at least months now, and I was just like preparing to order them. So I just decided randomly to order them all. And that's $100 worth to finish like six projects, some of which you can see at Brick World Chicago this year. So maybe you could catch me there. I'll be displaying a bunch of custom mocks. I would love to have you guys stop by, say hello. I'd love to meet all of you. Uh, but until then, I will catch you guys next week right here on Xander's Bricks. Where we're going to have more amazing Bricktastic videos coming out very, very soon. Keep being amazing, you guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.